In this video, we're going to talk about the cloud. Now, when people talk about the cloud, they mean many different things. For a corporation, it might mean that they have replaced their information processing center and removed all of their local machines and now are only using machines that are stored somewhere else, probably with a third party, and they are accessed via the internet or the cloud. When we're talking about the cloud, we're really talking about cloud storage. And that means storing data on the cloud where it can be accessed from anywhere, from any device, and from any place in the world. But of course, you need permission to access it. And in particular, I want to talk about kinds of cloud storage. One is called Microsoft OneDrive and one is called Google Drive. And why did I pick these two? Well, yesterday I looked at the internet to see what reviews said about things and I found this review and as you see it was written on March 31st, only a couple days before that. And they picked look down here and see where the check marks are there are only two columns that have all green check marks and those two columns correspond to Microsoft OneDrive and Google Drive so I'm not the only one that thinks these are good choices now a couple of things to look at in this chart the file size limit Microsoft OneDrive is limited to 10 gigabytes where Google Drive is basically unlimited, five terabytes, which is a ridiculous file size. And the amount of free storage you get with Microsoft has now gone down to just five gigabytes. Although if you get Microsoft Office, you get a terabyte included in the price. And so that's a good deal. And Google gives you 15 gigabytes for free. so. If you don't have Office, that may be a good option for you. And it works very nicely with some of the other Google services. So let's look a little bit more at those two. If you go to OneDrive.Live.com, that's all you have to put in, you will see Microsoft OneDrive, the personal version, allows you to have your data from any device at any time. And what's nice is that OneDrive is pre-installed on Windows 10 machines. And it works across all your devices, including PCs, Macs, Android devices, iOS devices, etc. And what you can do is work together with other people, sharing files, photos, and so on. And when they say you can collaborate, with these various programs. That means that multiple people can edit at once. So that's a very nice feature. Google Drive actually offered that feature first. Now a summary of Google Drive can be found at google.com slash drive. And just like Microsoft, you can store any kinds of files. You get 15 gigabytes free. You can see your stuff anywhere, just like you can with OneDrive. So basically, they're the same, and they really function exactly the same. So the advantage of OneDrive is that with a Windows 10 machine, you should already have it. And you can probably find a OneDrive tile and get through it from that interface. Since I use a desktop and a classic shell, I look down here on the system tray. And we don't see it here by default. But if we look under this arrow, which says show hidden icons, there we see the cloud. And we see that the OneDrive cloud is already up to date. And if we click on it, we'll see 
it's actually in, already installed and running and that's because this user is a user with a Microsoft account in other words they have to log in with an email address and they have to type a password if you have a local account on your machine you have OneDrive there but it's not going to be running you have to go here to the cloud and attach it to your account you have to log in to OneDrive with your Microsoft account and then it will run so alright what do we do here if we click on the folder here we'll see here's what's in our OneDrive folder there's just a single file that they put there that shows you how to get started using OneDrive and you can look at that when you have a chance now where is this folder by default you're going to find it if we go to the C drive the users folder and then the folder for your account and here I have several accounts on this machine this one is the one associated with this user and Microsoft gives it these funny names uh, and that's what happens with Microsoft accounts these are June and Wren those are nice local accounts and the name of the folder makes sense here it doesn't really make any sense at all but you really can't change it so if we look here you see here's where your hidden app data file is and all your other files your contacts your documents downloads your pictures music etc and here is your OneDrive folder and that's where your data is so it's important to notice that this folder is on the same drive and if you drag anything to it you're actually moving to it which is fine normally and that's what you want to be doing so if we were to click on OneDrive here we see exactly the same thing we saw when we clicked on the folder after we clicked on the OneDrive icon let's go back here and look at our documents folder here we have various documents you know these are our word documents and spreadsheets and everything else that we might have on our machine except for our pictures which are hopefully in the pictures folder now which ones of these do I want to put in my OneDrive folder probably not my financial data maybe my PDF files um, bills and receipts uh, maybe maybe not you can decide spreadsheets sure word documents sure um, you can put individual files over there whatever you want but for now let's just do those so if I click on them while I have multiple ones selected notice it says three and I'm moving them and it says I'm going to move them to the OneDrive folder now they're going to move quite quickly because you know it's a move they're really in the same place but now if we look over here we see that it says OneDrive is up to date but the reality is it should be um, updating at this point I'm not sure why it's not or oh, it is look at this it, it's already done it it was that quick it's already moved all of the things up to the cloud so very fast now I like to have that icon always show up here on the taskbar I don't like it hidden here I want to be able to see the status of my cloud storage so to solve that I'm going to right click on the taskbar I'm going to choose settings and this is the settings for the taskbar notice taskbar if I scroll down I'm going to find select which icons appear on the taskbar and this shows me the ones that are always going to be there and I can turn on any others that I think are important 
so I'm going to turn on Microsoft OneDrive so it's always going to appear there if it's running and that's all I have to do notice the cloud is there now close this up now some other things I might want to put here I probably want a pictures folder here so I will create a folder for pictures And now if I have some family pictures that I want to share with people or whatever, I would create some other folders under pictures and drag the pictures I want to share there. Now, I could give somebody a link to see the pictures or, you know, if I'm somewhere else, I can just log into my account, even on their machine, and go to that folder and show them pictures that are appropriate to show them. So I recommend putting pictures you want to share here in OneDrive in your pictures folder or you can of course put it in Google Drive about the same thing and uh, being able to share them by link or by showing them on your phone or whatever. One of the advantages of putting things in the pictures folder is that anything that you add or delete to that folder or folders underneath it will automatically be available to look at from your phone wherever you are. It'll always be updated. You don't have to worry about putting the latest pictures that you want on your phone. They're just going to be there. And if you have a device like a tablet that only has access when you have Wi-Fi connections, you can actually use OneDrive to specify that certain folders under pictures should be stored locally on your tablet. And then you can view them wherever you are, even if you don't have internet access. So a lot of advantages there. Now, as I look at this, I realize I failed to organize it the way I wanted to. I really like to have a documents folder at the top of OneDrive and I should have put the PDFs and spreadsheets and Word documents in that documents folder. And then I also see that there's another folder I'd like to have here, my manuals folder. Manuals are the PDF files for all of the devices I own and I want to be able to access those wherever I am. So. Let's see how we're going to do that. It doesn't matter that we've already put them in the wrong places. We can just create a documents folder here. I'm going to say new, where is new? Uh, let's try this again. What happened? New, there we are. I'm not sure where I clicked before, but obviously it wasn't the right place. So I want to create a folder called documents. And I want to move these three folders into that documents folder. So I can just drag them. And by doing that, that's also going to happen up on the cloud. If we go view it on the cloud, we'll see that they're already there. And I said I wanted my manuals folder. The manuals folder is here. And the manuals folder is really kind of big. If we click on it, We'll see that it has, let's see here, let's pause. It's got 517 megabytes, so it's pretty good size. It's like half a gigabyte worth of manuals. So it's going to take a few minutes to upload to the web, but we can go ahead and start that process. I'll move it here. So remember, I'm moving it, which means it's going to be deleted from where it was. And they're going to move very quickly here on the, PC, but on the web it's going to take quite a while before they're all there and as we look down here we see we have this funny icon that shows that sync is still happening see the little green thing next to it that shows that sync is still going on if I right click on this icon say view online it opens it up online 
using my default web browser and there I see that I have nothing in my documents folder which is strange because I have five put three other folders there and we have three things in my pictures folder which wasn't very good so I must have screwed up so let's go back here we could do it online or here but I'm gonna go back here because it's at least it'll happen quickly here so see I put the three folders into the pictures folder not into the documents folder so if I expand this arrow move them to the documents folder that's the trouble with dragging and dropping it's easy to make mistakes you shouldn't do what Ren does you should do what Ren says and right click and say copy or move or cut and then paste somewhere that's correct but anyway so now the pictures folder is empty the documents folder has three documents in it and if we go back here and look oops, I'll click on the right thing here we are this is the online version but because it's busy uploading the manuals it hasn't moved these things online so let's pause this video for a minute all right after we've paused if we look down here we see that OneDrive is up to date and if we go look at the manuals folder online we see that this folder has other folders in it which were copied up automatically it has a lot of manuals right at the level of this folder and they're all PDF files for the most part so all of that worked well all right let's close the online view if we look over here in OneDrive we see what we saw before documents manuals pictures let's put some things in the pictures folder if we go back over here to my pictures folder I have a couple of folders here that might be appropriate here's some pictures I'd like to share with people here are some family pictures I'm going to hold control so they're both selected now I can drag and drop and as long as I hold control it will copy instead of move but I can also right click choose copy or if I wanted to move it, I would choose cut then come over here right click choose paste and there they go but of course I put them in the wrong place again I really wanted them to be in the pictures folder so there they are they're in the pictures folder now and it'll take a couple minutes for them to get uploaded because there's quite a few pictures pictures take up more space and therefore going to take longer to upload so that gives you an idea of some of the things you can do with OneDrive and the key thing to remember is that OneDrive is a folder that's local on your PC and it can be local on other PCs as well or you can choose on any one of your PCs that only certain of the folders in the OneDrive folder be actually kept on your machine and when viewed from tablets or phones nothing is really local it's accessed over the internet but you can tell a tablet to keep a copy local you can also tell your phone but usually there's not a reason because the phone has internet access so you know unless it's a bunch of family pictures they may make sense to have local but that's it for OneDrive now we can look at Google Drive but we're going to see it's basically the same so we'll take just a quick look at that maybe in another video